gonna post a picture. I'm gonna post a picture in the thumbnail for this video of the last uh, creepy classic jack o' lantern that I carved a couple of years ago. Um, this is just a quick uh, how to DIY carve a pumpkin video. So I bought this knife. I bought this knife at the local No Frills grocery store and it was a dollar it was only one dollar it's uh it says lifetime guarantee on the back and made in china but it's sold in uh, montreal quebec which is in canada here so what what i've done is i've drawn uh i've drawn on it with some pen I don't know if you can see that or not. Some eyes and nose, teeth, and I used all straight lines, like triangles, because it's, sometimes it's hard to cut in a circle with a knife, you know what I mean, a straight blade. And I marked a keyway at the back of the lid. This is gonna be, there's gonna be a key notch here. So, um, so sometimes it's confusing when you cut the lid round it's hard to tell which way it fits in pr perfectly or properly but uh, with a key notch it only fits in one way so I'm gonna cut that key notch there so I know exactly which way the lid goes on I'm gonna cut the lid out first and t take some of the guts out so let's let's do it <clears throat> very careful I got like I said I bought this knife for uh, for a dollar so I don't have to worry about wrecking it so uh, I'm not saying you're gonna wreck your knife or anything like that but anyway I don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna cut on a slight angle because if you cut straight down or on the or on the wrong inverted angle then you'll never get the lid out it has to be on a slight angle outward and then the lid will come off same with the, any other notches if you cut them like the wrong angle you won't be able to get them out unless you punch them into the inside so I'm gonna follow I drew a line here I drew a line on here with a pen and I'm gonna try my best to follow that line It's not going to be exactly perfect on the line, but it doesn't have to be either. Okay, so I've cut all the way around except for this key notch. So I'm going to cut the key notch now. And that'll that way I know exactly how the lid goes on. Just like that. So that that notch, it only goes one way to the back. And then uh, after you cut the top off, you get all these lovely guts. Some people uh, use these for cooking. Some people cook and eat the pumpkin seeds. I remember when I was a kid, my older brother, he used to love cooking those up. And uh, I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to cut, uh, I'm going to leave like an, about an inch, an, an inch of material. This is a medium sized pumpkin, it's, it's not a big one and it's not a small one. But anyway, I'm going to start trimming some of these guts off because I don't need them. Well, I want, I'm going for the hollow jack-o'-lantern, but these uh, I might give those give those guts to my chickens. <laughs> chickens might like those; they might eat them. So I should have a, I should have a newspaper or something. But anyway, you, that's what it looks like after you cut the guts off. You want to make sure it's thick enough to last a few days or last a week or whatever before Halloween but it's a lot cleaner and you don't have these guts hanging off there anymore <sighs> the 
I put the guts over there, and my dog looks like my dog's gonna. He's licking them. <laughs> he might eat them. Now, same thing with the uh, with the lid goes for the inside of the pumpkin. You want to take some of these guts out. What's up, Ryder? So, I'm gonna. This knife is actually very sharp, considering it's. Ryder, move. Go. Go. Go lay down. This knife is pretty sharp, considering it's like basically a dollar store knife. Oh, look at that guts. Um, what works really good for this is a spoon like a, a stainless steel spoon or silver spoon or whatever spoons work really good for scooping the guts out I did not bring a spoon out here I suppose I could go get one And you want to be careful at the very bottom here there's a little indent here it's so it's not perfectly flat on the bottom and the same goes for the inside there's a bit of a bump there so you have to work with that I don't know um, you can get LED lights you can get candles whatever there's different ways to illuminate these but if you're gonna put a candle in it you want to make sure that you got a nice flat base to mount your candle on or to sit your candle in Looks like Ryder's eating some of the pumpkin guts. My dog. I'm gonna go grab a spoon real quick. And then, uh, and then I'll make a part two video.